Thank you. Thank you, Chair Hickenlooper. I want to thank you and uh, Ranking Member Blackburn for convening this important hearing. Like many of you, I am frustrated by what is happening in the marketplace. In my home state of Washington, the exorbitant hidden fees recently made news when the price of a home ticket to watch the Seattle Kraken play the Dallas Stars in Game 3 of the NHL playoff cost more than it would to just fly to Dallas. At the time, Cairo 7 reported that the cheapest resale ticket available was $294, or at least that's the price the platform would have you think. After a $61 ticket processing fee and a $3 order processing fee, the real price of the ticket before tax was $358, an extra 22% on top of the advertised price. We've all encountered these junk fees in one form or another, and these are mandatory fees that are not included in the advertising price, providing no recognizable value to the consumers, and we're hearing, obviously, from our witnesses about this today. The bottom line is we can't make comparison shopping harder. We can't reduce competition, and we don't want to see things that distort the market. That is why Senator Cruz and I introduced the Ticket Act, which has been addressed here by some of our witnesses. The price, they say, really should be the price you pay. And that can be added to, but it needs to be disclosed. So I wanted to, if I could, I think I know the answer listening to some of the testimony here, but Professor Zizwicki, I didn't hear all of your testimony. Do you agree that the principle of all mandatory fees for goods and services should be disclosed in an upfront price? Um, as I said, well, first, I succeeded uh, Senator Cruz as the director of the Office of Policy Planning at the Federal Trade Commission, so it's likely we agree on a lot. Uh, uh, and this is one on which I think we agree, uh, which is, I th is, as I said, I, I can't see any reason why that wouldn't uh, be disclosed up front. And so, in general, I think that's the, uh, the right approach uh, and would generally agree with that. So why... Uh, Ms. Greenberg, you were, I, I heard your answer, yes, you, you, you can reiterate it if you want, but why do you think this is so important, um, not just with ticket sellers, but the true price overall, including mandatory fees? Why do you think this is so important? What, what, what complexity does that bring to the market when you have this level of distortion? Well, well first off, uh, consumers can't comparison uh, uh, shop because they don't know what the end all and in, and in, an in, in all in price is going to be. So it distorts the market from that perspective. But um, as Professor Morowitz described, it's a um, it's a rabbit hole for consumers. They go, uh, they click, and they click, and they click on various um, price options, and they end up spending more money than they would if they were a, a an all in price. So there's some psychology involved, I think, in the businesses that impose these prices. But consumers are angry about it, and they feel like they get trapped into paying for uh, goods and services with these add on fees that that um, they had not expected, but they end up doing it because it's, it's easier for them to, to, to just pay rather than um, balk it at, at, or look around for competition. Thank you. Mr. Uh, Professor Zwicky, Ms. Greenberg mentioned the Supreme Court case that struck down part of the FTC's authority. We had FTC members here, both Democrat and Republican nominees. They all said we needed to replace that. Do you think we need to replace that to give consumers a fair deal? Um, I would have to, uh, uh, I, I'm not prepared to give an okay. opinion on that We today, can give thanks. you uh, a question in, for the record and you can give us an sure, answer. Sure, I'll think more writing. about that. And yes, thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.